Today I'm going to show you how to copper electroform a leaf. For this tutorial I'm going to electroform fern. Before electroforming, I left my leaf to dry in a book for a week. First, you need to seal your leaf. To do this, I use Mod Podge. Apply one coat on one side and wait for it to dry. Do the same thing on the other side. I apply three coats on each side of my leaf. When it's dry, your leaf should look a little bit shiny like that. Next, I'm going to attach a bale on my leaf so I can turn it into a pendant. I'm using a jump ring. I stick it to the top of my leaf with glue. Wait for it to dry. Now your leaf can be turned into a pendant. We're going to paint the leaf with copper conductive paint. Apply one coat on one side and wait for it to dry. Do the same thing on the other side. I apply two coats on each side of the leaf. Don't forget to paint the edges as well. And make sure there's paint everywhere, even on the bale. On the next step, we're going to electroform the leaf. Attach your leaf to your hanging wire and plunge it into the bath. Make sure it doesn't touch anything. Attach the red wire to your copper coil and the black wire to your bus bar. Turn on your rectifier. I set up mine at 0.2. After 24 hours, I take my leaf out of the pass. Now, I'm going to neutralize acid. To do this, I plunge my leaf in a water and baking soda solution. I'm going to add patina to give my leaf an antique look. Prepare a bowl of warm water. Put one drop of liver or sulfur in it and mix. Plunge your leaf in the solution and wait for it to become dark brown. Take it out and dry it. In the next step, we're going to polish the leaf. Take your steel wool pad and polish until you obtain the desired shine. Finally, we're going to seal the leaf. Take a soft cloth and apply some wax on your leaf. You're done! If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next video!